All right, we're back. Um, so what we're going to do now that we're all warmed up is we're going to record um, the vocals. And as you see, I'm already set where I want to go. So I'm just going to click here. And that's going to arm it. And then I can just press R, turn the music down, and record. Baby, don't push away. Don't fight the feeling by the end of the day. You know where it's sitting. We'll be making love. We'll be making love. We'll be making love. By the end of it all, we'll be making love. All right. So what happened there was, oh, I did that really fast without telling you, without showing you. Okay. Let's do that again. So you saw that that was on, and you saw that the mouse did not move. That's because, again, these little brackets were sitting there on the recorder. Since they're sitting there already, of course, you can toggle it. That's one of the great things I like about Sonar, is you can toggle it to anything within that track. But right now, they're sitting on the arm button. So I can click Enter, and then I can press down and go to the next track, and I can click Enter again, and it'll toggle that arm button, and then I can go to my next track. Baby, don't push away. Don't fight the feeling by the end of the day. You know where it's ending. We'll be making love. We'll be making love. We'll be making love. By the end of it all, we'll be making love. All right, so now you see. Baby, don't push away. Don't fight the feeling by the end of the day. Okay, so there's. So now you have two tracks. Um, those are those are my melodies, right? We're gonna click enter. That's gonna unarm that button, and we want our pitch correction to go on the other track as well. So I'm gonna highlight this auto tune. We're gonna click and drag. We're gonna press control, and then we'll click and drag down. To this FX bend right here, and voila, that'll be set to go with the exact same settings that we have there. Um, now, what I'll also do is I'll go, and I can do this one of two ways. I can go to my mixer, and I can pan those two um, those two tracks to the left and right a little bit. Five and six, I can click D. And I can pan it about usually I'll do 50%, sometimes 40, sometimes 60, depending if I get a wild hair up my butt. Okay, so I can do it that way, or right in this control, right in this panel here, or even in my track inspector, depending on what I can go over here. And I can pan it here in my track inspector, or I can pan it here, right there. Either way. They make it very convenient on you. We'll pan it to the right 50%. 51 is fine too. And we'll listen back. Baby, don't push away. Don't fight the feeling by the end of the day. You know where it's sitting. We're making love. Making love, we'll be making love. By the end of it all, we'll be making love. Okay, so let's say that you didn't have auto tune because you can't afford it. First, we'll save here. So you can click. Let's take these out and let's pretend as if we didn't have them. So we'll delete these two. Um, you can also pitch correct it by using V vocal. Um, if you know, notice I'm using my smart tool. Top half of it is a like a cursor. The other, the bottom half, it turns into crosshairs, and both do that. Um, so if you start at the top here, that is your 
I don't know, edit tool, erase tool, whatever. You can highlight over here these two there and press delete. That'll delete that half right there. And of course it's on grid right now, so which is fine. You can take it off grid, clicking that there, and you can do any combination thereof. It doesn't matter where you do it at. Press delete. Okay. And outside of it, you can click and drag outside and highlight um, both of those clip regions. And if you press Shift V, it'll give you, it'll pull up two V vocals. Now, if you want to um, do your pitch correction here, all you got to do is um, highlight the entire area of each one. Okay. Um, you go to scale and you click scale. Okay. Um, and you click whatever scale if you're in major or in minor. Right now, we're not in minor, we're in major. Okay. You can change all these whether or not you want it to have vibrato, no vibrato, whatever. You can do whatever you want with it. We'll just me we'll just mess around with it right now. We'll say vibrato at 60, note sense 70. I mean, I hardly even know what any of these mean, but. You can just mess around with all of it. And you can undo any changes that you make. Okay? Again, so we'll highlight it. Then you click the scale that you want. So we want C. So you click select C. And now it'll take out all the other notes, right? But you're not done. You come over here and you click correct. And now all your notes that are a little off or kind of out of tune, it just changed it, right? I'm going to control Z that and you'll see. I'm now I press control shift Z and it'll, you'll see it changing. I'm going to undo it and I'm going to redo it. Okay, and that's the same thing you do for all of them. Go here, go to the other one, and we'll do the same thing that we just did. Take it down to take the rattle down to 60, raise the sense to 50, and again. You just mess around with it, click scale, click what key we want it in, we want major, and correct. And you'll see that it changed every, it basically adjusted the note. So when you play it back, now you see this happen right here. Um, these are the two V vocal tracks, and your original tracks are still behind there. I just muted. Just copied and muted it. So I'm going to undo that. Let's kick over here, and let's listen back. Baby, don't push away. Don't fight the feeling by the end of the day. Making love, we we'll making love. By the end of it all, we we'll be making love. Now the thing is, while you have these on, the V vocal is still it's still on, uh, meaning that the program is up. So if you do not want the program up anymore, um, you can easily take that track you can do both of them you can highlight both of them or just a V vocal track it's up to you but we don't need I don't need both tracks so um, but I'll leave them I'll leave I'll leave both tracks so you can highlight that and then you can right click it and bounce the clip and that's going to erase your V vocal and give you just that clip it's going to take your V vocal out so now you have no V vocal album but that's you know a permanent change. 
However, if you move this over, you can still see that your original recording is there. So it's up to you whether or not you want to keep the original recording, recording or not. In this case, there's no need for me to throw it away. I'll keep it. I don't need to erase it. So. Baby, don't push away. Don't fight the feeling. By the end of the day, you know where it's sending. We make it love. We make it love. We make it love. By the end of it all, we'll be making love.